Welcome to the Cardiac Sciences Program at Vancouver General Hospital. We're here to help you prepare for your heart surgery. Hi, my name is Dr. Peter Skarsgård and I'm the head of the Division of Cardiovascular Surgery at Vancouver General Hospital. Your healthcare provider has recommended that you undergo heart surgery. In this video, you'll meet some of the members of the healthcare team at Vancouver General Hospital who are here to help guide you through your journey. You'll learn about how you and your loved ones can prepare for your upcoming surgery and what to expect while you're admitted to the hospital and during your recovery afterwards. We understand that preparing for surgery can be scary, but rest assured, the team here will take excellent care of you. Hi, I'm Jane and I work in the Cardiac Sciences program at Vancouver General Hospital. Waiting for surgery can be a stressful time, but it also gives you and your loved ones an opportunity to prepare by getting yourself in the best possible condition. This will help your recovery and decrease the risk of complications afterwards. Proper nutrition, staying physically active, and managing your current medical conditions are all important in helping you be in the best condition possible to undergo surgery. This means taking special care to manage conditions such as anxiety, anemia, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and diabetes. We also recommend limiting alcohol consumption and smoking. Speak to your healthcare team if you have questions or would like more information. While waiting for surgery, if you notice any changes in your conditions, report them to your family doctor, nurse practitioner, or cardiologist. If your symptoms become unmanageable, such as worsening shortness of breath, Dizziness, chest, arm, back, or jaw pain, seek medical help right away by calling 911 or going to your closest emergency department. We expect that your surgery will go well and that you will make a full recovery. We also encourage you to think about and discuss your wishes or instructions for future healthcare treatment with your loved ones before your surgery. It is helpful for your loved ones and healthcare team to know what your wishes would be in the event you are unable to speak for yourself. Talk to your healthcare team to find out more about advanced care planning. Hi, my name is Dr. Darren Milan, and I'm a cardiac anesthesiologist, as well as the medical director for the Cardiac Surgery Intensive Care Unit at VGH, where you will recover in the first few days after your heart surgery. Before your surgery, your surgeon's office may connect with you to arrange for additional medical tests. You will also have an appointment with the pre-admission clinic. During this appointment, you'll meet with an anesthesiologist, a pharmacist, and a nurse, either in person or over the telephone, to review your medical history and medications. Depending on when your surgery is scheduled, you may also be sent for blood work, an ECG, which is a brief test to record the electrical activity taking place within your heart, and a chest X-ray. You will also be given instructions regarding what to do in the days leading up to your surgery, including the night prior and the day of surgery. You'll also have the opportunity to ask further questions. Between your visit with the pre-admission clinic and your surgery, if there are any changes in your health, please do notify your surgeon's office. Hi, my name is Brittany and I'm one of the patient care coordinators in the Cardiac Sciences Program at VGH. The day before your surgery, the surgeon's office will confirm the time of your surgery. While every effort is made to keep your planned surgical date, sometimes it may be postponed due to unforeseen circumstances, such as emergency cases. Please know that every effort will be made to rebook your surgery as soon as we are able. Your surgeon's office will keep you informed of your surgical date. If you are in hospital waiting for surgery and the date or time changes, the cardiac surgery triage coordinator will reschedule your surgery. It is important that you do not drink or eat after midnight the night before your surgery. Follow the instructions given to you by the pre-admission clinic regarding alcohol and cigarette smoking and about which personal medications to take around the time of your surgery or which medications to stop taking. You may be requested to use an antiseptic mouthwash or take laxatives prior to your surgery. Non-prescription vitamins, supplements, and herbal products, including tea, should be stopped seven days before surgery. Jewelry, body piercings, nail polish, artificial nails, makeup and contacts should be removed the night before surgery. On the night before your surgery, you'll shower or bathe with unscented soap, shampoo your hair, and then use an antiseptic agent. 
please follow the instructions given to you by the pre-admission clinic. Do not shave, wax, or use hair removal cream on your chest, arms, or legs for two days prior to your surgery. Refer to the Cardiac Surgery Guide or website for further details. Thank you for watching. We hope this has given you a good idea of what to expect as you prepare for your surgery. Rest assured, we will take good care of you. And if you have any questions, please reach out to your care team or primary care provider. For more information, you can visit our website.